Welcome to save on this day. Let's see if this works. Uh, fly, baby. Oh, yeah. See you back at base. Okay, I got the landing strip in sight. Let's see if I can get a good approach. Reduce power. Flaps 5. And... Oh, no, motherfucker. Oh, God damn it. Jesus. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> okay. We're going a little bit. Almost. And drop it. There we go. Nice and easy. Okay, back at base. It's day 52. Still got four days. And I think I'm going to try to finish the side that faces east. So that they come from that side. Uh, let's see. I do have a bunch of stuff here. And I have to unpack it all. And get ready to build. Okay, so apparently I got a few friends outside. Let's deal with them. They seem to be kind of lost. Hello, buddies. Do you like that big thing over there? It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? And look even better. Oh yeah. But Reynolds decided to show up too. What the hell is he doing here? And again, a very odd group of people. Or zombies. But okay, they're dealt with. There's two more here. Oh. Okay. Are we done? Oh yeah. Gotta fill this whole thing. Uh, so I think that's where I'm gonna start. I got 500 of these things, but I will show. Yeah, I'm gonna fill up underneath. I think I think it's okay, and then we will continue from there. So let's just stop putting these things in. And yeah, I'm gonna keep with the idea to have this thing completely full because I don't know. I just want to. This might be unnecessary, to be honest. But, I don't know, I just like the idea of having this thing as a full block. Okay, one well, level done, and I wasted half of this thing, so I'm definitely gonna need more. So I still need one, two, and three. So I figure I'm still gonna need 750 more. Uh, yep, so I think I'm just gonna crank it up. And uh, continue, because... I don't know, I just like this idea. And uh, I think I already got all the traps that I need for one side. But let's actually check, because I was crafting tripwire posts, and I put them all here and stuff. Uh, yeah, so dot traps I have a lot. I have eight blade traps, it's enough for one side. Each side just takes four. I have a bunch of wire relays, generators, switches, tripwire posts, and where the fences. They are the fences, yeah. So I believe I have everything I need. I'm just gonna have also to craft a bunch of this ammo. So I'm emptying out these forges. Uh, it's gonna take a while, but uh, I, I, I do have some time, and I'm definitely gonna put them up there. And I'm gonna put four, and underneath it's gonna be cement mixes and maybe just a few boxes. And uh, I think it's gonna look cool, because this thing, uh, with only one, I could actually al already do another one while I'm at it. Let's just do another one of these things, I don't remember what's the recipe, but let's see. Spring, Mechanical, and Forge Iron. Okay. Spring, Mechanical, Forge Iron. There you go. Let's just do a couple more, actually. Why not? And speed the production of uh, concrete. I could have done this a while ago. Yeah, there's a lot of things that is very easy to miss. Little strategies like this, like making more than one cement mixer. <laughs> And uh, I kind of forgot, but uh, okay, it's on the way. So in six minutes, I should have two more. So these things are crafting for another hour. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna grab a bunch more clay, all of it. And I think I can craft it on me. Topsoil. Yeah, it's kind of not gonna be enough. I'm gonna have to go and get some more iron anyway. So while I get iron, I should also get a bunch more clay. So let's just grab something to eat. Let's bring a stack of these things. It actually is pretty good, it gives me 10 plus uh, stamina. I don't know how long it lasts. 7 minutes apparently. And uh, it's pretty good. Not too bad. Okay, so in 6 minutes I shall be back. Let's just get going. I don't think I'm gonna break my leg, I got parkour full level. And I didn't even lose any health. That's a big old jump. And the second level is almost done. There you go. I'm actually enjoying myself doing this. <laughs> Doesn't sound like much, but I, I don't know. I kind of like doing this. 
So now I'm gonna have to start from the middle. So let's start putting it like that. There you go. And uh, I'm definitely gonna have, not gonna have enough, am I? 200 more. Well, let's see. And then I'm gonna start upgrading this from the top. This is gonna have another level of concrete on top of this. And I'm still gonna need more topsoil on the outside. Because this is actually the outer layer of the base. It's not over there. But uh, okay, I'm gonna continue this a little while, and uh, hopefully by the, the end of today, I'll have something done. And look at that, feels really good to upgrade this, seeing the floor just underneath, completely supported. Oh yeah. And uh, I'm just waiting for the top cell to be crafted, and I should be able to finish another quarter of this. So in the meanwhile, I'm just upgrading this stuff. Uh, unfortunately, in Rebar, I don't really have the, op the option for the arrow slits, arrow slits. So I'm gonna have to use uh, cobblestone because in Creative we can just pick any uh, shape that we want in any material. But here in Survival, not so much. So in fact, I'm not gonna use these ones because I prefer to have the zombies coming from this side. As a start, I don't know. I'm gonna try to finish this side first. And uh, okay, let's just try to get a. A25? Really? Maybe it was a feral. Yeah, it must have been a feral. Okay. So let's see. I'm gonna need a support for the um, drawbridge. I'm gonna have to do a drawbridge too. I think I should have enough materials, and I could just use this block. I think it will look better than just a full block. I put it like this so the, the, the drop is five wide. I could put it like so, or even better, I could put it Actually, with two blocks, block supporting. No, I don't want it. The goddammit! I let's. Okay, I think. Let's see if I can support it. That's the one. Like this. And underneath, the block that completes the thing. We have it like this. An extra block to give it support. I think I'm gonna have to dig this out a little bit because I mean this is high enough maybe the zombies can actually just jump over there so the drawbridge is gonna be a little bit obsolete if I leave it like that but I'm not gonna upgrade it just right now first I would like to do some uh, measurements and stuff so I'm probably gonna start putting in these blocks here cobblestone so let's see where's the other slit there's the other slit so basically this is going to be a 3 wide and the arrow sets are going to be here and I want the zombies to come in from the right hand side and they're going to turn left so there's going to be an arrow slit there because I want the dog traps to shoot him in the back not in the front because when the demolishers come I'm not sure if the darts actually trigger the explosion and the bomb is on its chest so I think if the dog trap shoot is, shoots him in the back I might have a better chance of not triggering the explosion. Of course it can always turn around. It actually uh, turns around to the things to see if, if we trigger the explosion by mistake. It's a bit tricky, the demolisher. He likes to change his direction to actually make us make a mistake. So, But for the time being, the idea will be this. Gonna be a dark trap underneath and another one on top because of dogs and spider zombies and stuff and so I got six lines here six lines and um, this feels short to me I think I should have started one block in uh, yeah let me just think for a second so the thing is, I actually forgot that I need another level. 
And this is going to be the central hut. Uh, I'm going to have a tunnel going in each of these directions. And uh, this is actually longer than I have done before. So I'm just going to adapt. And I do believe that this thing should start a little bit inside. There you go. So if I do it like this, is the setup that I actually made. So, I can keep the same orientation that I actually did the other time. But instead of having them coming from the right, I can have them coming from the, from the left. But I'm gonna have to remove all of these. Because I forgot that this is gonna have another lever on top. So, yep. Let's just remove all of it. And there it is. Okay, so this is one level higher. And now, I'm gonna need poles. Like some pull. Let's get it to advance. And, uh, no, it's actually... So, for them to be able to come from the right... It's on the block underneath. Yeah. It's gonna be like this. Then like that. Because this is going to give enough room for the blade traps that are going to be on top. So let's just put some frames here because this is going to be closed. Like so. I do have a screenshot of my base. So I've been looking at it to figure out what the hell did I do. But uh, this is kind of the gist of it. This is just going to be a little bit bigger. A little bit longer, this corridor. Which I think is going to be useful. Because it means more traps. And uh, it means that the zombies have to run a bigger death trap to be able to reach me. And I think it should be okay. Now... I also need to figure out when this turn is going to start, because I'm going to need a platform behind this thing. So I'm also going to start adding these blocks here, because the dog traps are going to stay right there. The electric fence posts are actually going to be hanging from the roof, and the tripwire post is just going to be underneath the dog trap, so the dog traps are going to stand here. Let's just put the blocks first. And uh, one particular thing is, I'm gonna have a tunnel coming behind the traps. But for example, for this side, I will only access from the left side hand side. The right hand side will be completely closed because the electric fence post, the end of the line will be here, so that's all I'm gonna have to fix in terms of electric fence posts is on this side. The dot traps I can fix through the arrow slit, and the tripwire posts shouldn't get damaged at all. The blade traps I can also uh, just fix from here, I can turn off the generators from the inside and, and just fix the blade traps uh, close to them. So the only real reason that I need to come back here is for the electric fence posts. And this will be the end of the line, I just have to remember to connect from this side to the left hand side, from where I'm looking. Uh, because if I do the other way around, I'm not going to be able to reach them. So that's the idea. And then I'm going to have a hatch here. I'm still considering if I'm actually going to put a hatch on each one of these places. Like here, another one here, because they don't see the hatches. but. When I got 64 zombies coming in, maybe it's better that a few of them can actually pass through a little bit so they don't clamp up together inside the, this little region here. This is gonna be enclosed, of course. Uh, but, uh, you know, 64 zombies coming through here, it's gonna be a lot of zombies. So, I'm probably gonna have to jiggle from one side to the other. So, in reality, it would be nice if I could actually finish two sides. Doesn't have to be these two. But, okay. And it also would be helpful if I actually uh, built everything at the same time so that I don't forget the spacing and how many blocks I need. Because once this thing is upgraded, it's going to be a little bit harder. 
So in fact, I think I'm gonna start putting blocks. And uh, at least the cobblestone I'm gonna put in. Because I'm gonna need to know where the hell I put everything. Otherwise it's gonna be very confusing. Yep. Looking at this with just rebar might be a little bit confusing, but I'm going to try to, to explain a little bit. So this is going to be the height of the base. Right where I'm looking at, uh, maybe I can use a different block. Maybe I can use this block. Right here is going to be a blade trap. On this side will be another blade trap. So as you can see, it's going to be... The blade trap is going to be here, so it needs a 3x3, three three. so there's the 3x3 three by, three by here. Because these poles are on the block underneath. So we got 1, 2, and 3 blocks. That's where the blade trap is going to be. The other one is going to be here, and I'm going to have another one right in front. So I'm going to have another wall. Like so. So here it's going to be 2 blade traps, one on this wall, and one on this one. Again, of course, with all this rebar, it's kind of hard to, to see. Then, another blade trap right here. And since this is actually going to be a little longer, in my base that I built, I only use four blade traps. But this, since this is longer, I think I can add uh, at least one more. So, I can have another wall here. With another blade trap, two blade traps here facing each other. And yet another one right here, and this will be the first one. So then I'm just gonna have to enclose this thing on top. So the dispatcher is gonna have a nice 3x3 three three here. And uh, there's gonna be a little room here for the zombies to move around. And then when they start coming into this, they're gonna start getting shot, they're gonna start getting blasted by the blade trap. There's gonna be electric fence boat coming through here. I don't know if I explained exactly right, but it's gonna be the electric fence post is gonna be from this side to this side. Each one of these little corridors where it's gonna have one electric fence wire. So here they're gonna get zapped, here two, here two, here two, in every one of them. So let's ju I just need to count the lines that I got here. So basically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, and the 10. The 10 might not be because I'm probably going to be here. Maybe not because the blade trap is like that, so I'm actually going to add another set of poles to protect myself from this blade trap. So 10 lines, which means I'm going to have 20 electric fence spots on each side, so I'm actually going to need 60 and not just 50. This ended up being a little bit longer than I thought it would be. <laughs> Some things I just did a little differently, because on, on my setup I actually built this thing on the floor, and now I'm building it right, raised up with um, the drawbridges, you know. The first time I've actually built this, I built this on the floor. With a little ramp in front. And uh, so I had to adapt. But that's the main idea. And now, I'm going to see what I can start to upgrade. That I'm definitely not going to change. Because some of the things I'm going to have to think. For example, on this side... Some of those rebars I'm gonna change for arrow suits, uh, for arrow slits, so that I can actually repair the blade traps during Horde Night if I want to. If I come back here, I can always uh, try and repair the blade traps. So let's just see which blocks would it be. So this blade trap I will be able to fix, no problem. So here I'm gonna have a set of stairs, a ladder. And then the pathway for me to go through will be actually right here. I'm out of rebar and I have to do more. So I'm gonna uh, climb a ladder right here and then... Yeah, with just rebar it's kinda hard to see where the hell the blade trap is. Maybe from the inside will be a bit, a little bit better. One blade trap here and then I got these two. So I'm gonna need to fix them from over there. So let's just grab the these things. And in fact, nope, I need the arrows arrow slit. In fact, this one will be an arrow slit like this. 
so that I can actually see the re the the uh, actually both these two will be the zero slits so that I can actually I'm gonna stand on the thing on the blade traps that are gonna be right here so I can come here and actually fix the blade traps I try it I tested it we can actually fix through the arrow suit arrow slits so this one underneath could be a full block but I could also change it for something else but in fact maybe it's better to have it as a full block because it's gonna cover this side here and I don't need to look down once I'm here I can fix the electric fence spots which will be right here in this direction and I can come here fix the blade trap and I can fix the dot traps from the bottom from above at least the dot trap on the top the one on the bottom I'm probably gonna be able to fix only when the horde knight is done and I can actually come from the inside and fix it from here it's a bit confusing I admit we're just rewriting really hard to see what, what I mean but uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to start to upgrade a few things I'm out of concrete actually that's why I'm not upgrading right now I'm gonna have to get it back so once I have a few blocks upgrade it's gonna be a lot easier to understand so I'm definitely gonna try to finish at least two sides because in four days maybe I have enough time I'm gonna have to go out and grind a little bit more for iron and stone but okay I hope at least it helps to understand a little bit better what I have in mind here and I think it's gonna be pretty cool so thank you for watching and until next time